There are two things that can calm us down. Stress balls and food. We want to combine the two. Tic-tac-toe out of candies. Edible jigsaw puzzles. Sweet slime. Watch these and other stress-relieving foods in our new video. Regular breadsticks are boring and flavorless. But there is no such product I won't be able to improve. Let's add glaze and sugar. No, it's way too colorless. We'd rather add colored sugar. Put sugar into a couple of Ziplocs. Add a few drops of liquid food coloring into each bag. Close the bag and press it in your hands to mix the sugar with the coloring. Put the colored sugar onto a tray forming stripes. Align the edges using a brush. Dip a breadstick into a glaze made from egg white and powdered sugar. Take off the excess glaze and cover the breadstick with the colored sugar by rolling it onto the sweet strips. Sweet Color Therapy is a double stress reliever. Firstly, shaping the sugar into bright strips, and secondly, decorating breadsticks with the colorful yummies. My friend's storming into the room. She's completely stressed out. She's had a hard time taking her test again. Calm down. Don't ruin my sugar rainbow. But Belle doesn't notice anything. She still sees the test before her eyes. It's high time to offer her my stress-relieving colorful sticks. She should make one of her own. A bit of colored sugar and my friend gets happy and cheerful again. Studying can wait. You can make a report about the sugar wars. My friend has a real sweet tooth. She has a whole collection of candies, but she doesn't share her sweets with anyone. When she's out of candies, she's out of happiness too. What is the purpose of life if there are no yummies? But I know how to bring sweet optimism back to my friend. I've got a big and delicious gummy bear. Put gummy bears into two separate containers. Let there be a bit more in one container than in the other. Cover a bear-shaped silicone mold with vegetable oil so that you can easily take out gummy bears when they are ready. Put the bowl with the bigger amount of bears into a microwave. Melt the candies. Pour the liquid jelly into the mold up to the halfway point. Now use the gummy bears from the second bowl. Put them on top of the liquid jelly and cover them with one more layer of melted jelly mass. Fill the mold up to the top. Remove the bears from the molds when they harden. You cannot just smell and chew on this bear. You can also stretch it in all directions. Belle loves my sweet, squishy bear right away. Of course, she begs me to share it with her, but I am not giving it away that easy. Nevertheless, I finally share the squishy bear with my friend. She is going to eat it immediately. Don't hurry up. Take the time to enjoy stretching it. My favorite pastime is to color stress-relieving patterns from a coloring book and relax. And my friend is obviously stressed out. Her phone talk must have been far from successful. I suggest starting art therapy with me. But this pattern is too small for two painters. My friend takes away one sheet of my designs. She works so hard as though she paints the Sistine Chapel. At last, she's gotten tired of art and feels like getting a snack. It's great that my coloring sheet is edible. Put a piece of rice paper onto a coloring sheet. Trace the pattern with a black food marker. Shade the entire picture with colored food markers. I take a bite of my masterpiece and my friend tries to take a bite of her regular paper. It's not a good idea. My picture has more edible elements. The coloring pattern plus food is a double stress reliever. Belle has a whole arsenal of stress relievers, but nothing makes her happy anymore. Besides, her friend thinks she can amaze her with regular slime. It can stretch out. So what? It is slime. It surely can. It's so boring. But all of a sudden, my friend puts the stress ball into her mouth. Now it's getting interesting. 
Put chewy candies into a bowl and melt them in a microwave. Add powdered sugar and mix it thoroughly. Add sprinkles to the slime you've got and knead it. This slime is not only edible, it is also delicious. We had fun and a snack. We will definitely need weight-reducing food after this stress-relieving food. My friend keeps checking her phone all the time. Emojis are more important for her than my heart-wrenching stories. That's enough. I announce a healthy minute. I take her phone away and offer rice cakes instead. She is definitely not excited. My friend's face looks like the saddest emoji in the world. But I know what to do. I will combine her phone addiction and a healthy snack. I'll make cakes that look like smileys. Take rice cakes. Separate egg whites from the yolks. Whip the white to make foam and add powdered sugar. Mix it to get a milkshake consistency and add gel food coloring. Pour the glaze into a Ziploc. Snip off a corner and make smiley faces on the cakes. Using the icing of different colors by adding various food colorings into the glaze. Cover the cakes with yellow food coloring. You get real emojis. My friend feels happier when she sees her favorite emojis. It's just impossible to be sad looking at these funny yellow faces. They can cheer you up instantly and everyone around understands at once the message of your food. Moreover, the rice cakes crunch so funny in your mouth. Intelligent games require a constant brain recharge. So we've eaten all the cookies while solving a jigsaw puzzle. At last, the picture is complete. But we are also out of cookies at the same time. What should we do? Let's eat the jigsaw pieces. Cover the working surface with powdered sugar. Roll out sugar paste. Print out a jigsaw picture on sugar paper. Put it onto the sugar paste. Cut out the outline and cut out the pieces of jigsaw carefully. Let them harden. Solving a jigsaw puzzle is a thing of the past. A new entertainment is eating a jigsaw puzzle. It's a no-losing game because there are never any extra pieces left. Championship on Tic-Tac-Toe Belle loses round after round. She gets very disappointed because Tic-Tac-Toe is the simplest game in the world. What's wrong? We need a Tic-Tac. We will need two pieces of colored cardboard, a light and a dark one. Cut two rectangles. The dark one should be a bit bigger than the light one. Hot glue them to each other. Draw a grid. This is a field for playing Tic-Tac-Toe. Decorate the field with a pattern of X's and O's on top and bottom. And add the name of the game, Tic-Tac-Toe. Define the drawings with markers of matching colors. Make the X's and O's in different colors. Hot glue a box of double color Tic-Tac mints to the field. I take out an improved version of the game for my friend. Just don't put the mints right into your mouth. This tic-tac is for playing tic-tac-toe. Choose the color you're playing with and try to win. Belle wins the first round at once. Maybe it's because she loves tic-tacs a lot or because she has had a snack by eating game chips. Chess is a noble and ancient game. The rules are unalterable. The knight moves to shape the letter L. The queen moves wherever she wants. And my friend weeps as she loses. Belle is so desperate that she is ready to scatter all the pieces. Keep calm. I've got chess pieces that will be to my friend's liking. Certainly, since they are made of chocolate. We will need white and dark confectionery chocolate. Melt both of them in separate containers using a double boiler. Fill a chess mold with the liquid chocolate. Take off the excess. Smooth out the surface. Put it into a freezer to let the chocolate harden. Take the pieces out of the mold. Break off the excess. Dip a knife with a broad blade into hot water. Run it along the surface in order to melt the chocolate a little. Attach the corresponding halves. Clean the seam. 
We're playing the Sicilian defense. Don't you know what move is next? Put a sweet pawn into your mouth. And chocolate will help your brain work better. Did you like our edible stress balls? Then write in your comments how you will calm down. Will you make rainbow sugar sticks? A squishy bear? Or crunch rice emojis? And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new stress-relieving ideas on the Troom Troom channel.